Hello my lovelies! It is November, which means that it's time for me to recap everything that I loved in the previous month and I'm not even gonna tell you how shocked I am how fast this year has gone past because I'm sure you've all felt it so there's no need to kind of talk to you about that because it's almost Christmas and blah 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 all that stuff that everyone else is I'm sure saying but anyway I'm gonna go straight into showing you my favorite uh, items of month of October, rah, 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 of month October because I have quite a few pieces that I would like to show you as always I will start with fashion and I decided to start with accessories this time a necklace that I don't think you've seen before on my YouTube channel is a very special choker by Eddie Borgo and it is this golden colored one here I actually have it in both silver and gold because that's how obsessed I am uh, with it this is how you put it around on your neck and then one bit goes over the other it would have probably been easier to do this with a mirror okay so you attach it here and then this little chain is kind of um, just hanging below the neck usually something like this and this is so beautiful when worn over the like off the shoulder tops or um, just in general like any kind of like, cleavage I think this is really really beautiful piece of jewelry Eddie Borgo does amazing jewelry and I particularly loved it and wore it a lot throughout October since the beginning until the end this would be my piece of jewelry like my go-to piece of jewelry for the evenings out and I just adore it and I could not recommend it enough it also comes in a thinner version I'll try and leave the links below for you guys so that you can check it all out I love it it's really really well made he makes beautiful um, great quality pieces of jewelry and I am obsessed the other piece of jewelry that I just have to mention are these Dior earrings and they are called uh, the tribal or trivale earrings however you want um, I really love them because they just add such a feminine touch to everyday look and if you have a ponytail or like a low bun or something like this it just looks really pretty and really feminine and it adds a special touch you can wear one or you can wear two together like depending on your preference and that's why I love them so much these are just such ultimate princess earrings so if you want to feel and look like a princess you should definitely check these out as we're getting into autumn I'm getting so crazy about all sorts of knits and to be very honest with you if you've been checking out my blog and my Instagram you've noticed that I'm so crazy about pastel colors so really into neutrals and light colors I even mentioned on my Instagram that all I plan to wear this winter and autumn are light colors if you don't follow my Instagram you should change that right now it's just at Tamara I'll leave the link below as for everything else so talking about knitwear I honestly went a little bit crazy and bought way too many but this is the one that I wore particularly much and it's just like a simple old color really really soft sweater by All Saints it's nothing really special that I can tell you about it but it looks really nice it looks really cozy really cute on I love wearing it with like white jeans and with skirts and boots and things like that yeah I just think it's particularly great as well because the material is really soft really nice it doesn't itch and it doesn't have any of those like annoying balls that get sometimes created like on sleeves and things like that which is considering how much I wore it really great and what's most important of all is it's keeping me warm which is I guess what knits are supposed to do at this time of the year right in fact I particularly loved that knit so much because it was a match made in heaven with my favorite bag of the month and I have to say that that was definitely my new Celine belt bag I honestly was with my sister yesterday in town and I kept repeating to her how happy I am with this purchase. I think it's like honestly one of my best purchases lately. I love the color, I love everything about this bag, I love how much it fits. It always has my laptop inside of it and it's still not heavy, has a shoulder strap, the collar is beautiful, it's easy to maintain. I think someone asked me how difficult it is to open and close. I honestly don't find it difficult at all. I do it obviously all the time. Sometimes I just zip it, sometimes I close it over the belt, sometimes I close it under the belt. It just really depends on my personal needs and what I want to do. I love this bag. It's like literally full because I'm wearing it all the time. I brought it to... Monaco with me when I traveled abroad to Paris with me, just perfect for traveling and I really love it. 
but I still couldn't decide and I could not mention the other bag that I wore a lot throughout October, which is probably not to your surprise, the Givenchy Antigona bag and I mean the burgundy color just did it for me, you guys know how much I love the burgundy, it also has a few things inside because I've been literally just alternating between these two bags, also went to Monaco with me and I just really really like it because if I want to kind of make my look a bit more edgy or a bit more cool then I go for this bag. I wore it a lot with my next favorite item of the month when I was in Monaco and that would be another Givenchy piece and I'm talking about these studded boots that you might remember from one of my hauls. I think I got these around June time because um, that's when they were available and that's when they started coming in stock as I missed out on them last season because they got sold out and I was really pretty upset. Which is why I decided to buy them in June this year. I'll try and insert some pictures. I wore them so much. They look so good with skirts and jeans and are really really cool if they're unbuckled like this or you can just buckle them up. I love them, I just think they're so comfy as well and honestly I would repurchase these, that's how much I love them. The next item is also a pair of shoes, naturally, because you cannot just have one pair of favorite shoes of the month, like seriously, sometimes I think I'm a centipede because I just, I literally could have shown you five favorite pairs of shoes this month, like there would be one pair of over the knee boots, then there would be like ankle boots, then heels, then sneakers, like seriously, I just cannot commit to a pair of shoes, it's like... I have serious commitment issues, so I have to show you a pair of heels as well, which I actually got at the beginning of October. It's a pair that I already have, but in a completely different finish and color. Talking about the Aquazura Amazon heels, and these babies are in python, in this kind of black navy and white color. I actually wore these so much every, pre pretty much every sort of like date, well, night out. Um, throughout October and I really really like them. They go really well with the jeans. You know the Levi jeans that I got in my most recent ASUS haul? I ended up chopping them off myself, they turned out great and I wore them a lot with these. Also wore them a lot with skirts, dresses, I'll try and set some pictures here because these are amazing and I just love them so much. They're actually very 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 comfortable. They wear well so as you can see they don't look that bad and I just think these are amazing so huge thumbs up for these shoes because they were a great purchase. Before I go into the beauty I would like to show you what was my favorite book of the month and I'm talking about, there we go, In Sheep's Clothing by author George Simon Jr. It, this is like an amazing book about analyzing people, figuring out people and it is pretty amazing. I would recommend it to anyone. I read it in like a few hours while well, actually on the train to Paris and back and it was pretty amazing. I really really enjoyed reading it. It's kind of like an eye-opener and a really really great book to read. It's nothing like, I don't know, it's just like really a self-development kind of book where you just learn to analyze people a little bit better. So it's basically I thought it would be a really good advice if I suggest that to you guys. Next I'm gonna go on to some body care products. I really enjoyed using the Jo Malone, I don't know how you pronounce it, is it geranium and walnut and it is a great product. I actually think I have three of these now at home because I bought one when I was going to maybe Maldives and then this is another one and it's a really great product because it removes all the dead cells from my body really well and winter time that's so great because then before I go to bed I exfoliate then I apply moisturizer which I'm gonna show you in a second and then I wake up in the morning feeling so great and my skin is just so soft and moisturized and this kind of smells not too sweet but just really fresh. I really enjoyed using this scrub so yeah I really recommend it. When it comes to moisturizer I stuck by my holy grail moisturizer and I have to say that it is the Kiehl's Crème de Corpse and this is the limited edition because it has the Christmas illustration by uh, Jeremy Will and it's just super cute with the snowman and little girl ice skating and it's just like a little cartoon on my moisturizer now. I honestly have been using this moisturizer for the longest time I can remember. I love it so much. It's just nourishing. It like makes my skin feel the softest thing ever. 
and a lot of people have told me that throughout October. In fact, my friend Victoria from In The Fro said that we were at the L'Oreal party and she, um, she stroked my arm and she was like, oh my god, why is your skin so soft? So this is basically why I love it so much. I recommend it until the end of the world and if you just get one thing from this, uh, video, I would really recommend you getting this because it's incredible. You know how obsessed I am with smelling good and how much I love the perfumes and trying new perfumes and just kind of like exploring out there and I did feel like I'm missing out a little bit when I didn't try out the Margiela perfumes when they first came out, you know the replica ones which were all over the Instagram but I totally made up for that now and I actually fell in love with them so much that the words cannot explain so I'm gonna be talking to you about two different products by Margiela and they these are the replica you know the replica perfumes so basically why they're called that way is like it's like reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods so this one is called flower market and it says it's like provenance in Paris 2011 fragrance description crisp petal freshness style description female fragrance and honestly this smells like candy and flowers and I keep spraying it throughout the day it's honestly like sitting on my office desk and it just makes me happy every time I spray it on I love it so much it's pink I'm obsessed with it it smells sweet and fun and beautiful and just fresh and I really really love it but I've been actually layering it with the this like little one which is actually oil perfume and I didn't really read that <laughs> before I tried it on. So I, I used them together and that's kind of maybe weird but this is when I first applied it I was like this is weird and then I realized it says glow it's like an oil based effect and this is filter name is glow it says oil based effect boost radiance all fact in description zesty and solar notes this smells really warm and like zesty and sunny and it reminds me of like what it reminds me of is like me chilling on a couch in a house it's winter and there's like some sun kind of coming through a window I don't know that's what it smells like to me and I just really 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 love this so I've been kind of layering these two together throughout October fell in love so badly that these will be my kind of like fragrances go to this is more wintry this is maybe even springy but I think you can use it any time of the year two skin care products one that I honestly swear by and never want to replace is the Sunday Riley Tidal brightening enzyme water cream there we go this is what it looks like I'm sure you've seen this baby before because both Susie from Hello October and Fleur from Fleur de Forest told me that they love this moisturizer I never kind of tried it out until um, this month when I got it from Cult Beauty and I was like okay I'll try it because my skin was being a little bit dry obviously we we're like in that transitional period and I love it it's like light light blue color it is really it says delivers an intense water drench with two forms of hyaluronic acid and tamarind extract while popping and seems smooth and exfoliate it really really does brighten my skin and like kind of gets rid of any sort of like pigments and things like that I love it it moisturizes really well but it's not oily or sticky or anything like that so I'm a huge fan of this moisturizer the reason why I said I have two skincare products to talk to you about, the next one is is a hybrid of skincare and makeup, and I'm talking about the Capture Total Dream Skin Perfect Skin Cushion by Dior. Now this is Dior's um, cushion foundation slash uh, skincare product. So I'm sure you guys have seen these. You kind of open the lid, then you use this sponge, tap on, and then you apply it over your skin. I honestly love this product for flying, for traveling, for um, when I'm going to the gym and I want to have a little bit of coverage but I don't want to cake up my skin with so much product and stuff like that. So this really gives you like the dream skin, glowy skin, a little bit of coverage and just like really nice tone. I love it because it comes with a spare capsule of the foundation so you push here and then you can replace the capsule like the basically the you get a spare one or two I'm not even sure anymore I can't remember. has a big mirror so it's great for a Flying on the plane before you land or you know when you're touching down and you're like oh what do I look like so really really loved this product especially since it's both skincare and foundation just few more makeup products 
Now, if you're wondering what's on my lips, I've got the Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder nude lip pencil. Who do you think, if, if you think about who's the queen of lip products, like lip pencils, I would immediately think Victoria Beckham. I think she's always used lip, lip pencils, um, like literally since they've played in Manchester United or something like that. And I just honestly think she's done an amazing job. I love this lip pencil. Is there a name? It's just called 01 Victoria. Of course it is and it is simply incredible. Now I've used this lip liner and then I used also from her collection for Estee Lauder lipstick in Brazilian Nude. This is what it looks like and I have two of these lipsticks. They're like mini sized and I love them so much that I decided to get an extra one just in case it sells out which I'm sure it will at some point so yeah and it says VB at the top there. I just love it. I think she's just done really great. Next and actually last product that I want to talk to you about is the Benefit 3D Brow Tones. This is like a highlighter for your eyebrows. I've spoken about this product like a million times. But anyway, mine is in color 4. I'm obsessed with this product and I didn't even realize how much until I stopped using it for like a week because I forgot it while I was traveling. And then I noticed that my brows were not in place and they didn't look as full and as good as I normally like them to. So I realized that I'm absolutely crazy about this product, that it makes my eyebrows look really defined and stay in place and they add some something special that I can't even describe. You would have to try this product in order to understand what I'm talking about. So it's a great brow product and sometimes if I'm just lazy and I don't want to really like properly fill my brows in, I just use this and it's honestly great even on its own. So yeah, with this product I can conclude my monthly favorites. There's a lot of videos coming so make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm literally just filming what you guys are requesting. So also leave some requests if you have any below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!